I think every band, especially in the Big Ten, has a very unique background. I think one of the things that we're very proud about is that we coexist in Jacobs School of Music, which is one of the best, if not the best, schools of music in the country. But uh, we do have our own traditions and spirit that other schools don't. Uh, and we just think that playing here at IU is such a wonderful town. It's a great university, great research university. So I think all those things mix to make the Marching Hundred a really special group. It's just a electric atmosphere. Each individual person creates such an impact on the hundred that you create an instant family with 300 people. And so while you're coming into a world completely unknown as a freshman, by the first week you have 300 family members that you can depend on for anything. <laughs> on or around December 1st of 2011, I received a phone call. Uh, from a gentleman who worked in the NFL offices and he had heard about us from the Colts that we were a marching band that could come in and do a very quick show and get out of the way very fast. And he said that they're looking for a band to do that at the Super Bowl. We'd have about six minutes to do our show uh, and they wondered if we were interested in doing that. And of course, uh, for a band like ours that doesn't get a whole lot of national notoriety, it was a, an immediate yes from us. Uh, because this literally is a once in a lifetime opportunity. But then, I guess the band director and me started to think about logistics. Then you start to think about, well, what show are we going to do? How many buses do we need? You know, how are we going to eat? Where do the kids rehearse? Then you start thinking about all of those things. But uh, the, when I first heard about it, I told my associate, and we were both very excited about it. And then Eric and I decided to wait until the band banquet, which was just a few days later, to let the entire band know about it. I was at a table with some of my closest friends and actually next year's drum majors. and hearing the band erupt. That's the only way to describe how, what the room sounded like. I just sat in silence. I was just completely stunned. Completely stunned. Well, uh, the idea that they had for us was they wanted us to do something that was very much Indiana-ish. They wanted us to do something that was sort of Middle America Hoosier-ish. And so we found out quickly that that became they wanted us to involve John Mellencamp's music. And so once we got that out of the way, we're now playing uh, R.O.C.K. in the USA, one of his big hits. And then we're going to close our show with Sing, 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 which has been a tradition of this band since the 1970s. Uh, so we're trying to put together a show that shows what we do week in and week out, knowing that once we walk out of that door, this is the biggest sporting event in the history of sports. This is it. And the fact that we're going to be actually on that stage, on that field, at, you know, literally a half hour before Eli Manning is going to be there and all the great players are going to be there. I think it'll just be a rush that's indescribable. That's why I, that's what I think it's going to happen. Walking into Lucas Oil and seeing the, the house packed, seeing all the lights, all the cameras, it's going to be just an, an amazing experience. And it's shocking to walk onto an NFL field just because of the size and, and the grandeur of everything. But, but really having all, all eyes on you, those six minutes are going to be something that's going to stay with us for the rest of our lives. I think it's going to feel unreal. And I think when we get off the field, the first thing we're going to say is, wait, did that already happen? Like, is it over already? Uh, I think it's just going to, going to go like a flash of lightning. and but it's just going to be the best five, six minutes of our performing careers. I'm looking forward to running out of the tunnel at Lucas Oil and just seeing the crowd, just seeing the electric energy that the crowd gives. That's, that's all I can, that's what I'm most looking forward to. That and the starting whistle. Performing is the biggest adrenaline rush in the whole world, and I get to do it at the Super Bowl, the biggest football event in the world, and you can't, you can't top that. My goal for every game was to never drop and to be exciting and to connect with at least one person in the audience, and I just hope with the Super Bowl that I can do just that. I can go out and do a great job and be entertaining and lead my comrades the best of my ability. Well, I think that Indiana University, the state of Indiana, lots of core values in our state, uh, you know, we have a, a great work ethic, I think, in Indiana. And I want them, the people outside of Indiana, to see that we are hardworking, good folks, that we have a great amount of fun, we work very, very hard, but we are just as entertaining as any band you might find in New York or California. We just happen to be right here in the middle of America. So we just wanted to see how much we can support and entertain everyone. That's kind of our goal.